What's going on, boys and girls from across the world? This is your man, Mikey Bud, coming at you with another wonderful workout. Today is going to be a very simple and efficient workout. All you're going to need is a pair of dumbbells. And as soon as you're ready, let's start with some bicep curls without the dumbbells, of course, just to get those muscles familiar with the movements they're about to do. Good. Then we're going to take it into some lateral shoulder raises. Beautiful. And then holding at the shoulders, some adduction into the uh, middle of the chest and out. Yeah, three, two, hold it out, flip the palms up and down, five, four, three, two, keep the palms facing up, adducting in again and out. Good, and you don't have to exaggerate going all the way out. We're trying to get your hand to touch your back or anything. We're just opening and closing. That's it. Beautiful. Then some arm circles. And reverse it. Fantastic. A little march in place. Working the legs a little bit because we are going to be working them. Fantastic. And then we're going to do what I like to call a clockwork lunge. So you're going to step forward in the lunge. Then you're going to step out laterally to the right. Do a little curtsy to the other side, and then you're gonna do a reverse lunge. So do make sure that you have enough space here. Let's do it again two more times. So forward, let's do back, out to the side, and curtsy. Again, whichever way you're working on the clock, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six, and nine. Fantastic, let's go over to the other leg. So again, a clockwork lunge. And for anybody who's not familiar, or I may be aging myself here, there was an old movie called A Clockwork Orange, which personally I wasn't able to sit through because it was a very disturbing film for me. But I came up with this little pun of a clockwork lunge, because we're moving to the front, to the side, bottom of the clock, and the other one. Good. Awesome. Legs should be pretty warmed up. Friends, I think we're ready to get started. So go ahead, grab those dumbbells. So you're going to get familiar with the way that the circuit kind of works here. But just so that we, you know, have a little bit more familiarity with it, let's take it slow for the first exercise. So first one is going to be hammer curls. And we're going to alternate. So I want to do 20 reps, 10 for each arm. That's four, five. Good. Make sure you're not swinging your body. Keep the shoulders and the upper arm right where they are. That's 10. Good. You're doing excellent. 14. A little bit tighter grip on that dumbbell, though. 16, 17, 18, 19. 20. Fantastic. Now we're going to hold one, uh, one of these dumbbells in an isometric fashion. So we're going to be holding it just like so. And it's going to stay there, okay? So again, this is uh, isometrics. I always screw my ISO and my, my tonics and my metrics. But basically, you're not moving. So you're going to keep it like that. Stay like that for another 10 seconds. And then when I say go, you're going to start curling with the other arm, okay? Ready, set, Give me 12 curls. One, two, four, six, seven. Okay, you're okay. I see you. Eight. Strong grip in that other arm. Nine. You got two more because I said 12. 11 and 12. Good. You're not going to rest. You're going to hold the other one in ISO. I should just say stillness. <laughs> And then let's start curling with the other one when I say go, okay? Not yet, not yet, not yet. I like your enthusiasm, but wait for me, okay? Ready, set, go. 12. 8. 7. Good. Make sure you're going all the way down, all right? You don't want to stop. Not full curl. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Okay, just give it a little shrug. Relax. Now we're going to hold it like RoboCop, both arms, 90 degrees. 
10 seconds here, 10. As soon as I say go, you got 15 curls, okay? 15 hammer curls, ready, set, and go. Four, six, Good. we're halfway there, that's eight, nine, fantastic, damn, sun's out, gun's out, bro, 11, 12, 13, 14, and that's 15 curls. We're done with curls for today. Go ahead, step down, give them a little shake. Now this is where you're gonna need your empty wall. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning of this video, but you will need an empty wall. Now we're gonna work some of the legs. Very simply, just doing a wall sit. Get your thighs about parallel to the ground. You can rest your hands on them for now, but as soon as I say go, take the hands off. That's when we're gonna start counting. Ready, set, go. Hands out to the side, I'm sorry, out in front to the sides, or you could bring them up. Good. Just about 40 seconds. And smile. You're doing, uh, you're doing a workout right now. You're taking care of yourself. You're showing some love for you. You deserve a smile for that. 30 more seconds. So, uh, how's it going out there, guys? <laughs> I know. But this is an, another great uh, example of isometric workout where we're not doing anything, but we are feeling it. Five more seconds, four, three, two. Excellent, nice job. Okay, moving into the shoulders. <clears throat> Grab a hold of your dummies. Same idea, we're gonna start with alternating presses. So go ahead, bring it up. 20 times, right and left, and again. Nice. Now it does become very common for the belly button to start poking out. Got 11, 12. Just be mindful of that because if your belly button's poking out, that means that your lower back is probably compressing. And we don't want to do that. We want to keep the abs tight. Four more. 18, 19 and 20 fantastic okay so you, you probably can imagine what we're going to do for the uh isometric on this one okay let's actually do the right one because the left one had the opportunity first so now the right one is going to be holding up and we're going to hold it like this the whole time that left one is now going to do 12 presses ready begin one two Good. Try to wait, make the weight go towards the other one rather than out to the side. We don't want it to ever travel out. That's going to be really painful for the shoulder. Eight, nine. We got three more. We said 12, 10, 11. Keep it up there. Go with the other one. Other one's working now. 12, 11, nine. Seven, five, four, come on, three, two, nicely done. Bring them safely down together. Whew. Okay, and then we're going to do both at the same time. But first, let's hold it up. Ready, set, hold. One, two. Pay attention to that belly. When I say go, Start your presses. We got 15. And go. Three. Five. Here. Six. Six more to go. Last five. 
four, three, two, one. Easy. Fantastic, friends. We're going back over towards the wall. You're not done with those wall sets yet, okay? Here we go. Round two for the wall set. Be ready to switch things up a little bit here. And hold. Good. Start to get lighter on the left foot. Heel comes up. Maybe the foot comes up. I don't know. You tell me. We're here for three, two. Both feet are down. Stay here. Just breathe with it. This used to be one of my least favorite exercises whenever I came to wrestling practice. Other foot now. Maybe the heel. Maybe the whole foot. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three. Awesome. Hold it both. Down for 10, 9, 8. Four, three. You got to breathe, baby. Relax your face, okay? You're making my face hurt. Three, two, relax. Whew. Oh, gosh, that was too funny. Okay, going back into our arms. Friends, we've only got a couple more exercises here, right? Now we're going to go into the triceps. So, very similar to what we did with our biceps. The same exact concept we did with the other exercises. Alternating first, 20 kickbacks alternating, okay? So let me actually turn this way because I forgot that we had camera two there. So we're going to bend down, get a nice, good, confident posture. So we're looking straight ahead. Elbows are up high. Alternate one, alternate two. Keep going to 20. So almost imagine there's a big drum right behind you, 11, 12, and you're just beating on that drum, 14, 15, 18, 19, and 20. Awesome. Now... I don't want you to ever go down in weight. I actually love the weight that you're doing right now, but triceps are a bit of a different game when it comes to uh, the heaviness in comparison to the biceps. So if you need to go lower in weight, I'm not going to be mad at you for that. I'm not going to leave a nasty comment. I'm not going to make a new video that says you suck, okay? I'm going to commend you, and I'm going to say thank you for honoring your body, and thank you even more for showing me how to honor mine, all right? Here we go, team. We're bending over. Left left arm is going to stay there the whole time. And then 12 kicks for the right. One, two, four, five. There you go. Six. Keep that left one up, though. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. You got one more. Boom. Nice. Okay, this one is not easy. I'm not even going to play with you on that, all right? Here we go, bending over. Right is an extension, the left one's working, 12. Eight. Six. Five. Three. Two. Nice, okay, now we gotta do both arms. Trust me, I'm feeling you this. I'm feeling you on this one. I'm feeling you on this one, all right? But this is our last dumbbell exercise. Here we go, 15 times, y'all. Bend over, both arms, same time, go. 13. 11. 10. 8. Don't give up on me, baby. 7. 6. 5. Four, three, you got it. Two, last one. Boom. Whoo. Awesome. Okay, friends. So now that we've got the isotonic down, we've become more familiar with the isometric. Now we're going to do each one of these in a different fashion, holding it, okay? First one being the bicep curls. Actually, no. I want to do bicep curls last because I have a surprise for you, okay? Let's do tricep kickbacks first. The goal is to try to hold it 10 seconds three times. So make sure you got heavy weight. 
Ready? Kick back and hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 4, 3, 2. That's one. Man. Here we go. Number two. And go. One, two. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Five, six, eight, nine. You got to do it one more time. Hi, mi gatos. And hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay, moving on to the shoulders. Ready. Press. Hold up. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. Good. That's pretty easy. So we're going to change it up, do a little bit of a challenge. Ready? Next one, hold it up. See if you can levitate the left leg for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, right leg. Five, four, three, two, nice. Whew. One more time, we're holding it up. Ready, set, hold it, 10. Strong core, baby. Maybe two twists left, two twists right. One, two, one, belly facing forward, two, hold it, hold it, relax. Whew. Okay, so now we come to the fun part. Go to your empty wall, keep holding your dumbbells. I know you think I'm crazy. It's okay, so does my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> All right, we're gonna lower about halfway down, back of the arms against the wall. We're holding biceps and the chair, oh my gosh. Can it get any scarier than this? Five, four, three, two. Just relax the arms. Don't get up. Don't get up. Don't, don't, don't. Urgh, get that down. Good job. All right. Hold it like the hammer. 10 seconds. Three, four, five. You're so magical right now. I don't know how you're still doing this. Relax. Whew. You should be the one doing these videos. Here we go, last time, holding it traditionally, palms up. No hands against the wall, no arms against the wall. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nicely done, y'all. Go ahead, shake it out, shake it out. Whew. Do a little twist, make a little love. Get down tonight, I'm just kidding. Let's stretch out, one hand against the wall. Twist the opposite way so we can stretch that pectoral girdle of ours. And switch. So, what did we learn today? We learned that sometimes, even when something looks like nothing is happening, there could be a whole lot happening. Let's go ahead, hands up against the wall, step back, head between the arms. Nice little upper back stretch there. Beautiful. Then we're going to stand back up. One arm reaches across the body. Give it a pull. Or yogis, you could do a little eagle pose here. But going back to my little thing about what you learned today, that's something I want you to just remember in almost every scenario with life. Go ahead, switch. It comes back to that whole thing where it's like, but I'm just one person. How could I make a difference? On the surface, it may not look like anything you've done is happening. When it comes to the 8 billion people in the world, yes, it can look so minuscule. But just like in your body, every cell, everything that's there, they are hard at work and something is happening. So I want you to take away with you your, iso, your isometrics. Think even though I'm not doing a whole lot, there is still a whole lot happening. Go ahead, reach up, bend one elbow, push it down. And to the other side. Friends, you're doing a fantastic job taking care of yourselves, improving yourselves just by watching this video alone, staying healthy. Remember that this machine is the greatest one that you're ever going to encounter throughout your life. So take the best care you can of it. I hope to see you for the next workout. But until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace and blessings.